Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're reviewing all the Marvel Legends boxes I own. Most of them are for sale, so comment or message if you like any. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell before viewing these beautiful boxes. Now let's get to it. So here we have a huge box of figures. Let's go over them. I hope it's going to last me 10 minutes. Okay, let's go. Ant-Man! I like the ants on the side. There's a bunch of ants. Ants! Ants! Ant-Man! Yeah. Uh, this is the Black Ant, Eric O'Grady. Really nice sculptured figure, I like the colors. Black and red always works for some kind of villainous character, or misaligned at least. Ant on the top, that's cute. Little ant. Little ant. Kind of boring though on the back. Alright. Next, another Ant Man guy. Wasp, girl, excuse me. Ultron wave, really cool. Bulldozer, where's the rest of them, Hasbro? We need the rest of the Wrecking Crew, please. Release them. Good Ultron there. I like the detail on the wings. Kind of boring though. This is when they were first starting out with build a figure waves. Same ants on the side, ant on the top. Yeah, it's okay. Whatever. Ants! Giant Man. Last one this wave, I think, for the Ant Man characters at least. Looks pretty good. We have the uh, Giant Man right there. And we got. Yeah. Just same thing. Boring. Very boring. Iron Man Mark 46. Pretty cool. Kind of scary. He's it's very okay pose over here. Not the best. I kind of like the angle though. The angle it's shot from. That upper angle. Pretty neat. Civil War. Great movie. Punisher. Looks incredibly cool. We have the darkness over here. I think he was a Walgreens exclusive. He wasn't actually part of a wave. Yet they're advertising the wave. I forgot which wave. The, it was the Absorbing Man wave. Right. Really, really solid wave. Really solid. Edge of Spider-Man. Interesting. Spider-Verse. Oh, that's cool. Gwen. Morbius. Jack Lantern. All, all great figures. Really stacked wave, I think. Really nice wave. Especially you want Beetle and uh, Speed Demon as well. This game was Shocker later on. Really nice image of Punisher right here. Very dark, very spooky. The fog is in one. It's like a steam vent coming out of a city. So that's pretty nice. I like his weapons right here. It's pretty cool. I love this. Really dark, creepy. Doesn't really match the back, but it's neat all the same. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Really cool. Punisher skull on the top. Punisher logo right here. I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one. This is pretty neat. Here we have the Fab 2. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's Beetle and Speed Demon. They're a combined pack together. They look nice. They're good. They got Silvermane over here. I used, I think, an Ultron body for him. I might upgrade it. No, I actually, I did upgrade him. That's right. I used the Invincible Iron Man body, the other one. It actually works really well for this guy. You know, you get a lot of hands. You get a lot of blast effects. It's awesome. Definitely, definitely pick that up. The that Iron Man really cool. Beetle looks good. Uh, very plasticky though. Speed Demon looks good. They both look very plasticky though. I don't like I don't like the lighting on this. They look like toys rather than characters. I like how there's a little big bend to this though. That's pretty neat. You don't really see that every day. Scarlet Witch. This will probably sell. Hey, somebody wants this for, you know, Scarlet Witch. A little rip, but whatever. Uh, Maidens of Might. So it's Captain Marvel and Scarlet Witch. Two characters have gained prominence in the MCU. The Odin wave was fantastic. I liked it a lot. At least for Odin. Uh, Odin was great. The wave is okay. Thor's in there. It's a good Thor. Pretty nice Thor. Yeah. Good figures. Iron Fist. This is when they were kind of like getting out of their dark age and, you know, really getting the really nice figures that stand the test of time, you know? Captain Marvel I still use. I still use the Thor. I've changed the legs with Hawkeye I still use. I need to find that. I can't find the head. If anybody can find this head, you know, this specific one for that figure, I could use it a lot because I don't know where mine went and it's scaring me. Spider-Man! Yeah! Uh, good on the back. Looks really nice. We went over the way before. Good image right here. Very symbiote -y, Very shiny. Really nice. Very good. I like this figure a lot. It came with pieces you don't even need, but it's Spider-Man. So it, Hasbro knows what they're doing. They really do. 
Oh yeah, another Ant-Man. The actual Ant-Man from the movie. Uh, pretty good. I've actually already... Uh, this figure has been replaced entirely. Uh, yeah. Good pose on the side. I'll give him that. Ant on the top, same thing. Both the figure Ultron. Uh, pose is just lacking, in my opinion, though. Very weird. Eels. Yeah, Marvel's eel. Very boring. Did it even come with a build figure piece? It probably came in the back and I just took it out or something. Abomination. I like the other one better. Uh, I like this wave a lot. I remember Scarlet Witch being hard to find. I remember this is this is the wave when I'm like, I need to start hunting for figures instead of going online because it's cheaper that way. I love this cap. I love Captain Britain. He's great. Eel's pretty nice. Works well with the Serpent Society. Wonder Man's pretty cool. I have a couple red skulls from my Iron Skull army. It looks really nice. I love this. This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Great imagery here. For a figure that no one really cares about, they really did all... They really, you know, went all out. I mean, not nobody cares about, but it's some... A lesser character. No one's really heard of Eel, you know? Yeah. Pretty nice, though. Who else we got? This'll go up in price. As will this. I got these two. <laughs> Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm just going to pair them together. Why not? Great imagery in the back. They work really well. Uh, the figures. It looks really nice. The shading's really good. You get barely any legally in the bottom. There's no w There's no wave. That's why. Yeah, okay. So if you don't have a wave, you have better box art. That's an interesting trade-off. Same thing on the other side. Walmart exclusive on the, on the uh, front. I mean, I don't know if we're going to sell these or not. Heck... They'll probably be 10 plus shipping, you know. That's how it usually goes, at least. I've replaced this fa this uh, Falcon, and I haven't replaced this one, but I still have my collection. But yeah, it's the same exact mold, but better paint, I guess. The new one from the two pack. That one's still floating around. Moving on. Who's next? Nuke. Really cool. Really cool figure. I like the. Uh, USA inspired weapons. The knife is really cool. The body's great. They use that for a Hydra guy, and they include the face. And they made that face really creepy, by the way, on the uh, Hydra guy. I love it on this one. The uh, USA imagery on there. The flag. Nice touch. Looks really great. Wow. Nice. Good wave. Good wave. Love that. I remember going to a Toys R Us years ago and seeing stacked with Iron Man and Captain America. Just. The entire, the entire, th I think I have a picture of that somewhere. I need to figure that out and find where I put it, because that was pretty funny. Actually seeing all these figures in one place. I miss Toys R Us so much. They were a glut with figures, and now everyone's scalping. It's a shame. But yeah. Well, no, everyone's into them, you know? That's the issue. Everyone's into the figures, and, you know, there used to be a smaller fan base, and now it's just grown and ballooned because the Marvel movies have gotten so good. And I'm happy they're good, but now our little small community has turned into a huge, sprawling metropolis of people. So I blame Nuke for that. <laughs> Miss Marvel has a great logo on the front. I like the side right here, her stretchy arm, you could tell. Her big, stretchy hand. That's pretty neat. Works out really well. Did she have to go around? Yeah, I get it. And big in, yeah. Nice. Uh, good. It's it's just good. It's not the best. It's just good. I remember getting a one that actually broke on me. So that was one of the first time they take it back to Toys R Us, and they gladly put it back on the shelf for some reason. I don't know why. I went to Hawaii a couple years ago and saw like ten of these on the peg, and I went. I think like last year. I don't know. Time flies. I went last year and saw that the same figures run the pig, so nothing has changed. But I did find a Cobra Commander there, so that was good, because it replaced the one that I had with a uh, defect on it. A lot of defects in this line. Oh my god, this wave was so good. This wave was so good! Ghost Rider, and Chameleon, and Craven, White Tiger, and Superior Venom, and Starless Spider. Wow. Stacked wave. The Rhino wave was insanely good. I love that wave. Oh, good imagery on here. Okay, imagery right here. But the, the, the nostalgia is just nuts. Wolverine! Yeah, he's cool. I love the shading. Looks a little toyetic, though, and a little plasticky. Toy-like, toy not toyetic. 
I like this. Ha, ah, yeah, I'm having fun slicing people. Wolverine, that's pretty good. X logo on the top. Very nice, very nice. I totally forgot to mention, by the way, Daredevil has a DD logo on the top. I need to start mentioning that from now on because everyone has a certain logo on the top. I keep forgetting that everyone has a certain logo on the top. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So this is a box that I kind of hold near and dear to my heart because it has water damage. And I got it from, I forget what website, but this looks so cool to me. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. It's yellow and it's uh, red. That's really cool. This is interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to keep this one because A, no one's going to buy it. And B, if I sell it, it's probably going to be 10 bucks plus shipping because I can't bear myself to let go of this. But yeah, the figure came with water damage. Uh, I don't know if I did anything to you know, fix it. Pick up overseas or something. But yeah, wow. It's a blast from the past for me. Hobgoblin Wave was amazing. I love this figure a lot. One of my favorite build of figures, actually, you know, even though it's human sized. One of the rare human sized Marvel Legends figures, or these build of figures, in my opinion. In my opinion, but. <laughs> yeah, um, really good wave. A lot of Spider Man in it. Get our first Daredevil. That's neat. But Hobgoblin was insanely good. I liked him a lot. This guy's good, too. He's getting a reissue soon. Good. Gonna reissue him, too. Venom. Anti Venom. And, Sp and Pizza Spidey. Uh, we just need more figures and more. We need them to reissue uh, definitive versions, but we all know they're not gonna, because they're gonna keep reissuing them with slight differences that aren't the same, and we're gonna have to keep, keep, keep bashing our figures until the end of time. But yeah, one of my favorite build of figures in a really stacked wave. I'm trying to find box I haven't used yet. I already found a spare Iceman. All right, Jackal. Jackal, I love the. I love this. This looks uh, very. Uh, the, the lighting really captures the texture. The fur on him is really great. Shoot, I like this a lot. Really cool. I like how gremlin and goblin like he is. I have a picture of like 18 jackals climbing a tower. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I actually sold a bunch of my uh, uh, army builder characters, all spares, and I now cap my army builders at 16. I usually have four groups of four. And you probably saw that in my uh, Modoc video. With aim. I forgot to mention that, by the way, when I reviewed aim. Here's a blast from the past. Oh my god. One of the first figures I ever got. Uh, I forget which one it was. It was either Red Skull or it was the um, Hydra Soldier. This is pretty interesting. 2014. Fault. So, yeah. So, I could have gotten these as my first if I started collecting after college. That's how far time has gone. Mandroid's a great build figure. I have like three of him, maybe four. I forget how many. I think I have four. Because I usually do in my armies and fours, that's right. Um, yeah, I always thought Zemo was part of AIM for some reason. But this is a very nice box. You know, the old school stuff. I like it a lot. Two left arms, right arm. That's really interesting. Torso, left leg, right leg. Wow. MSB for Winter Soldier. And uh, they, they, co they copied the silhouette for Cap, which is interesting. You got Winter Soldier, Black Widow, and I forget. Oh no, Black Widow. I think Winter Soldier was the left leg, and then right leg was for the other Captain America from the movie. This is all comic book stuff for now. Interesting, they put the movie figures away from the movie. They should put the comic book figures in the fall, and because wasn't that wasn't the, that like a spring movie or something? I remember seeing it in the theater, and that was one of the first times I actually remember actually getting that the Marvel Universe was kind of bigger than this whole thing. Winter Soldier was when everything started connecting to each other, and I really appreciated that. But yeah, really good wave. Great figures. Great. F oh, there's that code right there. Huh. Again, if anybody knows where I could find this head specifically, please let me know. Because <laughs> I can't find it at all. I love this figure a lot. I use it for Bullseye. Uh, I like this too. The you know, yeah, this is probably some kind of complicated arm guard, but I use it for bullseye because it's pretty neat, and also it's kind of like a dark Hawkeye. I think that's what it's intended to be, at least. Hawkeye takes down evil from before, or he is evil, or whatever. 
Nice image of the figure. I like it a lot. I think it's one of the best out of the older ones. We're going to keep on going with Havoc. <laughs> or Havoc, if you're a plebeian. Uh, yeah, I love these bubble effects. I use them for Iceman. I also love this torso. I use this for Tony Stark Kit Bash. It's a great figure. The box art's really cool. All these concentric circles going on. Same on the other side. He's screaming. Yeah. Really ni nice box art. Really, really good kit bashable figure. Bunch of boxes just fell. Ignore that. Cable! I love the artwork on this guy. Really neat. Really cool. Grr. Very angry. I love how gruff and grumpy Cable usually is. It's really good. Josh Brolin knocked it out of the park when he played him. Works out really well. I like this box art a lot. Doesn't make him look too toyetic. Or toy-like. You guys have seen toy-like and toyetic. Toyetic is a good thing. Toy-like is a bad thing. Okay. Yeah. It's really stacked. Really, really seriously stacked wave. Speaking of which. Phoenix. Phoenix is cool. I love this. This is beautiful. Phoenix Force rising from the, from the bottom or whatever. I hate the head on this character. I'm glad they reissued it and redid it with the Dark Phoenix 2-pack, which is now a billion, jillion dollars. And I saw four of them at Toys R Us, and I should have gotten them. You know. Ah, well. If only any Toys R Us was uh, dying or something. I don't think they would allow me to get more, but then again, I got two Hydra 2-packs that day, so maybe they would allow me to get more or something. Domino! Yay! That was an accident. <laughs> I didn't even mean to, and it just fell like a domino. Yeah, the the weight is really ill distributed on this, which kind of works for the joke. Uh, really neat. I don't know why her mouth's open or whatever. She's like, ah! Oh! She's shooting bullets and everything with her gun. Really nice detail on her on that. Very toy-like presentation on the back. Purple guns, I hate them. They're great for Madcap, but I hate them initially. They're way better on the uh, Boxer Deadpool side over here. I think I gave Boxer Deadpool's guns to her, actually. So that might work. Another cable. So yeah, uh, this is the more beefed up 90s cable. I like them both. Honestly, I use this one for my uh, old cable and the other one for my new cable. Because I like having multiple versions of characters and stuff. And then I use Nate Gray for my third cable. So I have three X-Men teams with cables in them. Really neat. Really cool. Uh... You know, stuff right here. Looks really, you know, menacing and intimidating. Pretty scary. I like it a lot. It's very grayscale. I don't think it's X-Force or anything, but maybe it is. I don't know. Looks pretty cool, though. Sasquatch Wave. Sasquatch is a good, good build of figure. I wish he was beefier like Ursa Major, though. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Tombstone on one side. Beetle on the other. I love both these figures because... Beetle is just a really nice color scheme. Really nice color scheme for him. And then for uh, what? For Tombstone, he looks very you know menacing and like he did in the cartoon. I also liked him from Spectacular Spider-Man as well as the uh, animated series Spider-Man. Looked really cool, really neat, very intimidating, very cool. I love the collar, very you know 80s. I think he's albino or something, but he's also a vampire. That's pretty. Oh. Interesting combination. I think vampires are albino because they're all white skin. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. You know, knocking al albinism or anything. I don't like how it was used in some movies and shows to denote people who were bad, which is kind of weird. You know, accept everybody, people. You know, just accept everyone. That's what I love about Marvel. Everyone's accepted, even if you're Modok. I love Modok most of all. I love you, Modok. Love you, Modok. He's on my shelf, just watching us watching me I don't know <laughs> anyways really really good wave you know spider-man figures vulture build figure uh, the wings are kind of you know failing me nowadays uh, but good comic book figures and just really all around good figures in general Moon Knight's cool too we're getting down nitty-gritty who's next Wonder Man Wonder Man was voiced by Nathan Fillion finally in um, Modoc and I hope he actually makes an appearance in the MCU, because they were going to do that, but, you know, whatever. But MODOK was great. Watch MODOK, guys. I really like MODOK a lot. Uh, Wonder Man and Captain Britain. Uh, good posing here. They look very uh, toy-like, though. That's an issue. I love these effects right here, these bubbly effects. I use them for Magneto, I think, before he came out with uh, new ones. 
He also has these fists right here. I could probably use those too for Magneto. I love this scary look for him. He's walking towards you. He's going to probably murder you or something. And then he's all heroic and hmm, yes. The buckle. I love the buckles on him. Looks very neat. Very good figure. Looks really cool. And last but not least for this box, Kitty Pride. Jeez, how far we've come. Um, this head is still horrible right here. A uh, very bored expression on her face. Like she's awkwardly trying to get a waiter's attention or something. Another, another uh, Lockheed right here on the top. We saw from Magic earlier. Uh, great, great. I love this. The X-Men boxes from this era, particularly the Juggernaut wave, are some really good standouts for artwork. Not sure who did that, but it's some of the best. Oh, Lockheed! That's cute. He's on the bottom. Yeah, this is great. I love this a lot. I don't know. I may not sell this. You know, I do probably have carte blanche and why I sell and why I don't. But again, make me offers, you know, whatever works. So yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. It's really neat. Nothing much to say here. Uh, yeah, just awesome. It's really nicely shaded. It's just bravo. Whoever the artist is, I want to know who did, who did this. This is incredible. And that's the box. I have more boxes. I'm like, I'm like halfway there. <laughs> Maybe less. Maybe more. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.